Good morning or good night or good evening depending on where you're watching me from. Welcome back to another Rust video about automation with our punk jet. This is a different one which means we had to start all over again and this time I decided to get a little bit creative. So we have our smelting room and our refinery. We're going to show you how to set it up to do some refinery with our pump jack. So what you need first is to get your pump jack with some fuel on it to get it going. Then you come over and get a storage adapter, which then proceeds to put crude oil into here. So what we're going to need is a industrial splitter, two industrial combiners, three storage adapters, and then three industrial conveyors. But then again, we need four and four to go with what we have. And also, don't forget your pipe tool, because I've forgot to a few times about my pipe tool and it was not fun. So, we're going to use one of these root combiners in the middle here. And we're going to tap right in the, in the industrial to in. Come up to our pump jack and hit it like so. So now oh, this will be looking like it's going down towards our combiner. Good work. Then we come back in and place our industrial splitter right at the top here so that the industrial in is visible and there's going to be no, you know, pipe is blocked. Because we can't have the pipe is blocked. So then we run out from inside to our combiner and tap it in. Oh, you want to be blocked. So tap it onto your window and chuck it in like so. But I'll show you another way. You can actually hit it from this one to run inside. That way you know where and how to place something. So it shouldn't be blocked, but it is. So I'm going to just click it onto here for just two seconds. Grab our little hammer. Pick it up. Bring it down. And place it over here. So then the pipe is still blocked. That is crazy. I had it here before. Alright, let's see if this one works. It does not. So I'm just going to hit it that way. So it's inside the window. Because I cannot be plugged in mucking around with it right now. Oh, bring that back down. So now, what we do from here is come down to here. Put our conveyors down, put our storage adapters onto our refineries, and then we jump back up here, oh, no, okay, we'll walk around. Hit that, hit it to over here, because we don't want our pipes to be blocked, because then it, it will not work. So again, up, and down. From the in, up to the, and then to the out, out to in. So for that one, now we go from here to here. So as you can see, the design's coming down. And that one's going down to the, our storage adapter. So this one, run it. You can basically pin it to the ground. Run it over the ground. But then, nine times out of ten, it may get blocked by doing this. You can do it to the roof and bring it down. But you can store it, do it like that one as well. So, industrial out. So, I, because it's going to get, you can have it blocked, but I like to make it a little bit more different. Then to the wall and down to that one. Now, with this other in root combiner, I don't know why I did that. You can place it on the wall, you can place it on the wall 
down here where the other ones were, but yeah. So we're gonna drop down to where it goes into three. Come around and grab this one. This one may get a little bit tricky, but it may not. Put it into two. Come over to this one. Use my refinery to jump up and place it into that one. So now all three refineries are connected. And then we do that one into the input on that. So now the crude, the crude oil that will go into here will get broken down into low grade fuel, which will come into this combiner, into this conveyor to go into the storage and into this box like so. I'm going to put that fuel away because we do not need it. Now for powering, because this has already got power, you will see a big button, electrical pass through, but if you're actually connecting it from power to power, you go from the power source into the battery and then battery into a splitter and then you go from the out power out into the power in. But because this has already got power, we go from the electrical pass through, pin it down like so, and then into the power input, which now turns on a red light. So we go from electric pass through to the power input, drop down, electric pass through to the power input. So now you'll have three red flashing lights. Now what we do is, because Rust is a PvE game on PC, it's a keyboard and mouse, you press and hold E till it brings up you the symbols between power and the settings. So then we type into here, which is the crude, hit add and apply and turn it on. So now for you to know if it's getting anything, on the screen there, they will come through with a picture of the crude oil, just like that, that is actually going in, like so. So now we can turn that big boy on and do it again. So press and hold E, click on the settings and then type in your crude. Hit add and then apply, turn it on, wait for it to show that your crude icon is moving through ever so nicely, like so, and then it turns on. So same with this one down here, settings, crude, add, and apply, turn it on, and then wait for the photo to come through. take a little bit longer to come through it unless it's already come through and I want always been paying attention. Ba, 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 ba. If you don't see it coming through then you know you've obviously haven't added it properly. Oh there it is. So now we come over to our refinery and there she is. And that is how I automated my refineries this time in undercover and away from people that can touch them. So if you like this, don't forget to like and subscribe and give me a big thumbs up and comment anything that you want to know about Rust PVE as I do a lot of videos. My next video is going to be how my automation room over there is set up. So thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.